So the first reason to get the bike is they're about five thousand dollars. Mine's a 2013 with 13,000 miles on it, and I paid like 5,200 three years ago for it. And periodically, I'll check my local classifieds, and they're usually around five or six for a clean low miles bike. Reason number two is the engine and gearing. So this is a thousand cc. Uh, four inline four it it's basically an r1 engine that's been modified so it has i think it's got right around 150 horsepower uh, for me it never leaves me wishing i had more power if i sell it someday it won't be because i wanted a faster bike the bike's comfortable it's got a soft seat it's got an upright seating position your legs aren't tucked up too high. The handlebars are up pretty high. You've got a pretty large windscreen. This one's a little bit larger than stock. It's got uh, an aftermarket windscreen that the other guy put on it. Um, but I can go on pretty long rides and not uh, be miserable. The bike has been perfectly reliable since I've had it. Uh, maintenance on it is like a dream because you've got the center stand. You can have the tire off the ground to clean and lube the chain. It only has a half fairing, so any liquids you gotta get to, it's super easy to get to those. And accessing the air filter is not that hard either. There's a motorcycle shop in Sandy, Utah, that was close to where I used to live. And they were really cool. They, It's like a Ducati and Triumph dealership. And they would let you take out all of their demo bikes and used bikes. And so I got to ride like Aprilia Tuonos, Speed Triples, Ducati Monsters, all of these different bikes before I bought this. And when I got on this bike, I bought it from a private seller. And really the only bike that I liked better than this was the Aprilia Tuono, which I think they were asking like $18,000 for it. But it was only like a little bit better. I think it looked cooler, you know, but... Um, comparing all those more expensive bikes to this like this beat most of them in my opinion so this is a second generation fz1 the first gens i don't think they look quite as good a lot of people really like them they are carbureted this one's fuel injected and then after this i think yamaha didn't have anything for a couple years and then they came out with the mt10 they're supposed to be really sweet i just i don't like the looks of them at all so i don't think i could buy it Come here. let me know what i missed in the comments if you have any questions i'd be happy to uh, do my best to answer them i'm not an expert by any stretch so take everything i said with a grain of salt it's all just based on my experience uh, thanks for watching the video